Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about developing an MQTT application using Swift UI. If you haven't seen uh, some of my older videos about MQTT, I would uh, suggest you have a quick look at it. I will post the link in the description. So let's see what we are building or what we have built. So MQTT is a protocol which is commonly used in IoT platforms where uh, devices can talk to each other. So here, here you can see I have an Android emulator and an iPhone app. So we are going to connect to HiveMQ broker, MQTT broker. So, so you can see you can see the status here. Okay, now you can see both are uh, connected. So now these two devices can uh, talk each other. Let's see. So now uh, we have to subscribe to a topic. So I just created a test topic here. So I have subscribed. Let the Android also subscribe. Now let's send a hello message. So you can see, you can see the message here. Okay, so this is what uh, the app looks like. So I just built the app in Swift UI. I had early versions built in uh, normal Swift or with the UA kit. Now we just tried with uh, Swift UI. Now, yeah, that's all the app uh, does. Uh, let's see how it is done. So I will walk you through some of the core uh, pieces of the code. So when we come to the code, so like we start with the model. So there is something called MQTT app state. So which maintains the global uh, state of the application. So what it has is it has two things. One is the app connection state where like the state that you have seen here, like whether it is connected, subscribed, disconnected, etc. So which is an enum which has a few of the properties like connected, disconnected, connecting, connected and subscribe, etc. Uh, then you have the text like the messages that you see. So these <coughs> two are part of the MQTT app state and these are published properties. So whenever these uh, values changes, you uh, it is being notified to the Swift UI so that the UA can be uh, updated. And these are some convenience functions where you can set the text and the states and also clear the data whenever we want. And inside the connection state enum, we have few convenience variable uh, to determine whether it's uh, the uh, app is connected or whether it's subscribed so that we can properly handle the uh, states. Then comes the main class, which is the MQTT manager. So for this project, I'm using the Cocoa MQTT uh, third party library to talk to, uh, to handle all the MQTT management. So I'm using Cocoa MQTT. So using Cocoa ports. And yeah, so in the MQTT manager handles the uh, all connection and subscribe, subscribe, unsubscribe, connect, etc. So in the MQTT manager, we have few things. Uh, MQTT manager takes in a host identifier, a username and password if available, then configures the MQTT client with the provided uh, data, then uh, <coughs> sets the delegate uh, for the from the library. So you can see the Cocoa MQTT delegate here. So whenever we subscribe, unsubscribe, connect, publish message, receive message, these delegates will be triggered. And here we update the state of the app accordingly. So whenever the app is uh, subscribed, we just set the state of the app or the connection state as connected and subscribed. Similarly, uh, if it just connected, then we set it as connected then connected and unsubscribe, like when a user unsubscribes uh, from a topic, uh, then some logging uh, functions. 
and here we have uh, functions to connect which uh, triggers the clients MQTT clients uh, connect function then subscribe to a particular topic publish publishing a message disconnect yeah it's self-explanatory so you have all these uh, convenience uh, functions here and to know the connection status and connection state message etc so the whole uh, business logic or the uh, logic is handled in here and this is also an observable object so whenever any change happen to this object it triggers a change and now we this the mqtt app state which we have discussed earlier is maintained by the mqtt manager so uh, since uh, we do not have uh, swift ui doesn't support or uh, nested observable object so i have to do a workaround uh, here to uh, what what it means is like whenever anything changes in mqtt app state uh, it was not triggering uh, a change or a notification so i have to explicitly set an object will change uh, notifier using combine then only it was triggering uh, it's because the nested uh, thing is not supported with uh, swift ui yet yeah so that's all with the mqtt manager <clears throat> now comes to the ui so so this uh, app has two views one is this messages view and one is this settings view so both these uh, views share the mqtt manager so how it is done is i have created an environment object in the base view uh, which is the messages view so here we create the mqtt manager uh, and then inject as an environment object so the settings view in the settings view we take the mqtt manager as an environment uh, object and use it, use it so in the settings view we have we have a text field and two buttons so here we enter the broker address the broker to which we need to uh, connect and these are like connect disconnect uh, function this will just connect to the uh, mqtt broker <coughs> and here this bar shows the uh, connection status which is available and this button i have created a style so here i have encountered one uh, problem like to handle the enabled and disabled state so here uh, we, what we have done is like you can pass in a foreground and background color and here uh, we are taking the uh, is enabled environment variable and checking it and then changing the opacity so that we can handle the uh, enable and disable state properly so the background color i am changing the opacity and for the foreground color i am adjusting the opacity from white so this is this is a nice uh, convenience class so you can if you want uh, you can create any buttons with different foreground and uh, background colors with and all the state changes will be nicely handled yes so uh, when we go back to settings view so here we have a broker address as a state variable so so we have this connection okay like if we look at the uh, v stack so it starts with the connection status bar so connection status bar is nothing but a simple view which has a message and uh, it takes in whether a is connected or not so it just shows a text message and the background color like based on if it is connected color green not connected uh, red so that's it so here we pass on the connection state message so connection state message uh, comes from the enum so <clears throat> for example like the description like whenever it is connected uh, you get the connected text 
and then the boolean like whether it is connected or not accordingly the data accordingly the status bar shows the status then the text field so text field basically takes in the broker uh, address and whenever uh, the MQTT uh, is already whenever the app is connected uh, we disable the field until it's disconnected you cannot change the broker address then we have the two buttons connect and disconnect button so here we set the uh, rights uh, styles and things uh, then here is like when, when you press the connect button you initialize the MQTT manager with the respective values and a unique identifier and then call the connect function disconnect just disconnects it that's all it has then in the messages view yeah as we told we inject the environment object the MQTT manager in the view you have let's see you have the topic and message and two buttons and a text view that's all it is uh, it consists of and you start with the connection status bar then in the v stack you have a text field text field and uh, button so in this button like it's a it's kind of a toggle button so when you unsubscribe this text changes to subscribe so i have written some fun convenience functions for that like for example uh, getting a function so if it is uh, connected uh, connected unsubscribe disconnected connecting then we uh, set the function as uh, subscribe and if it is already subscribed then we do unsubscribe so that is the thing then title so based on the state we just change the title here uh, then we apply the button style uh, then we come to the next row where uh, entering the message so here also same thing we are we are checking whether the uh, topic whether the app is subscribed to a topic and ready to send message then only enable that uh, text field to accept any char characters then we have the send uh, function which sends the message and then we have the message history text view so here uh, i just used a, a ui kit uh, text view just for ease of handling things to handle auto scrolling and things like that so here we set a simple string a simple uh, text view with a text and here you can see whenever the text view updates i am just moving the cursor to the last line and here I'm just setting uh, the types, I mean the font, uh, etc. Then functions for subscribe and unsubscribe. Then in the send message, we I just add prefix like Swift UI iOS says uh, just to uh, just to uh, identify who uh, sent what message. Yeah, that's all it was. Yeah. Feel free to give it a try and let me know your uh, thoughts. Thank you.